Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When you take a drug dealer off the street corner, guess what? Another one appears because of the vile drugs trade and the amount of money involved. My constituents of Boston and Skegness believe it's exactly the same with trying your policy, Home Secretary, for smashing the gangs. If you smash one gang, it's like a game of whack-a-mole. Another one appear, another one will appear because there is so much money involved. Here's the point. How long will you give your policy, Home Secretary, before realising that the only policy will work is the policy that you actually started last week, which is to pick up and take back to France, which we're entitled to do under international maritime law. It will help British citizens, it will help the British taxpayers, and it will help the French, and it will reduce the magnet factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secretary. Well, what I would say to the honourable member is that no one should be making these dangerous journeys and the criminal gangers are making massive profits from organising these boats. I just don't think they should be able to get away with it. And they are at the moment. We should be taking action against those criminal gangs. And I simply don't accept that it's impossible to go after the criminal gangs to make sure that you take action, not just on their, the gangs themselves, but also on their supply chains, on the routes in which the boats that are taking, on their finances, and that we properly, substantially increase the law enforcement resources. Uh, as uh, honourable members will know, we have had cases where journalists have identified the smugglers and those who are responsible to, for uh, being involved in some of the smuggler gangs. I think that those... Uh, smuggler gang members should be facing law enforcement. We have to do this. It's essential that we do. This is about properly standing up for the rule of law as well as making sure that we do everything we can to prevent these dangerous small boats.